Hi and welcome back to the M5 Stack official channel. I'm Luke and today I want to introduce a new way of programming the M5. The Serial Console is a very very useful tool which is also used for debugging on the M5. So let's get started. First we'll start with how to do this process on Windows. First you'll have to install the CP210X drivers from Scilabs.com. Assuming you'll already done that then you can go into Device Manager to check which COM port that the M5 is connected to. We can see here that mine is connected to COM5. So doing that, let's open the M5 burner, which you can download from the m5stack.com website. And then we unzip it and open the M5 burner. You'll notice that Smart Screen blocks it but we can just get around it this way. On opening we can set our COM port to COM5 and the board rate to 115200. The first three kinds of firmware in the list are all MicroPython based so we can access their flash system over the serial console which is what we're going to do today. So let's flash the firmware first you may need to erase the flash first depending on which version of the M5 you have then once it's erased click burn and we're done now to communicate over serial with the M5 we're going to need a tool such as putty uh, so we'll first get putty from their official website if you have another terminal program that you prefer to use you can also use that and then we'll download putty and then once it's downloaded extract it open the installer and then once it's finished installing we'll open up putty now we're in putty make sure to set the communication to serial set the port to COM5 and the board rate to 115200 and then click open now the console window will open and if we reset the M5 we can see its initial startup program now to enter into the REPL we can press control C now I'm going to show you how to set up the serial communication with the Mac and then after any commands that we use will be the same as the Windows version first we start by opening the terminal and searching in the devices directory to see the name of our device which is this one so now we'll enter screen and then copy paste that in and then the board rate again is 115200 and then here we have the startup program again same as we had on Windows we'll click we'll press control C to kill the current process and now we're in so let's type help to see how the REPL works there's a few commands that we need to know here as you can see there there's, there's various different REPL modes that we can use we can interrupt the program as we just did with control and C and we can also use the help to list all of the MicroPython modules that are in this firmware and as you can see there's quite a lot we will start by importing the M5 stack module since that controls all of the different functions of the M5 and now to list what functions and classes we have in this module we can type M5 stack followed by a period and then hit tab and now we can see all of the functions that we can play with I won't have time in this video to go through them all but we're just going to focus first on the LCD so let's type LCD and then do the same again to see what functions we can use. Here in the LCD we can see a bunch of commands and also some predefined colors that we can play with. Uh, let's first uh, clear the screen and now uh, you'll be able to see on the bottom right of my screen the M5 and what happens when I enter the command. Okay, now I've cleared the screen, let's go about printing a message to the screen. So if we look in the functions here, we can see 
there, there is a print function. So we'll type lcd.print and then this takes a few arguments. First it will take a text string and then there will be the x and y coordinates followed by a color value. So we can either use a hex value or one of the predefined values that we see here at the top such as red. So I'll type lcd.red and as you can see when I enter this command, Hello World appears on the screen. Now let's try some of the graphics elements of the LCD. Let's try the draw circle function. Now the draw circle function uh, first takes an X and Y coordinate and then it takes a radius and then a color. 20 for the radius and then let's see we'll choose navy for the color lcd dot navy and there we have it appears on the screen and there's plenty of more functions that we could play here with the lcd but let's have a look at the m5's sound and how we would manipulate that you'll see here in the m5 stack functions there's a speaker function so let's type in that and see what we can find out about it. Here we can see it has a tone function. So we'll try out that. The tone function takes a frequency and then a duration in milliseconds. So we'll try 1600 and 200 milliseconds. And there we can hear the sound of the speaker. Now how about we control the lights on either side of the M5 Go. We can see in the modules here there's an RGB bar. So let's have a look inside that. Uh, now that's not what I want to do. Um, RGB underscore bar period and then hit tab. Okay. Now let's try the set all command. First I'm going to assign this to a variable and then it will be easier for me to um, set later on. So now I type rgb.set underscore all and then as I said earlier with the colors we can set a hex value if we want so 0xff so for this one red and then we hit enter and as you can see the lights have come on. So these are just a few of the functions that we can control through the serial commands. Um, let's have a look how we could look through the file system. We use import OS and then again we'll look inside the OS module. We've got the list dir for list directory. So we can try that there OS dot list directory and then followed by brackets and there we are we can see a few folders a few Python uh, files that are modules and lib is the folder where most of our modules that are not in the firmware are, are on the file system so if we type lib surrounded by quotation marks and there we are, we've got some extra modules here. And so you can continue to explore here, having a look at around the file system and just experimenting. For documentation on the API, uh, we'll post the links in the video. Uh, it's still being populated, so you'll have to bear with us there. Um, but feel free, explore in the Serial Console, and uh, if you have any questions or comments, place them down here or go to our forums and I'll see you next time.